Welcome back guys, it's George from Gem and Tank Collectors World. I have a fun video for you today. I'm going to be cracking open two graded cards. One is a BCCG and the other one is a PSA. Uh, first off guys, hit that subscribe button notification bell. Uh, we are trying to get a thousand subscribers. Once we do, we're going to have a massive giveaway. So hit that subscribe button. We also have some nice stuff coming up on our channel. Uh, we have some pack breaks box breaks we've got some psa reveal videos coming up those are one of my most uh, popular and guys if you're looking for a card go to my ebay store galamatagio underscore seven uh, the link will be in the description it'll go right to my ebay store with over 300 psa graded new and vintage cards so let's start off with the first one and the reason i'm cracking it open uh so this is uh 1984 fleer nolan ryan i like the 84 fleer set um, I started collecting it as a kid, and I'm, I'm gonna, uh, I got the set like already completed. Um, and this one, as you can see, is cracked. So something got dropped on it and cracked the slab. So um, I don't like the way it looks uh, cracked. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be cracking this open. And since I already uh, completed my 84 Fleer set, I'll be giving this away. Uh, there is a subscriber, uh, Frank. Frank Cohen that is a big 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 Nolan Ryan fan so I'm going to be sending it to him um, I just uh, don't feel comfortable selling this uh, as a cracked slab as I cracked it myself and um, I don't like the look of it too to keep so we'll be giving it away to a subscriber uh, Frank is a big big Nolan Ryan fan I already let him know that he's coming his way so with PSA graded cards uh, you're gonna do. We're gonna do one more, one cut diagonal right here on the corner, one cut diagonal right there, and then what we're gonna do is ply it open with the um, flat screwdriver. Uh, PSA is pretty easy to to crack open. So first off, guys, always have a towel. We got a towel over here. You're gonna get a lot of uh, broken uh, plastic, and you want to keep it in there just in case it flies. Kind of sometimes it flies out. You put it right there. So tools of the trade that you need to do this correctly. You're gonna need a nice heavy duty side, side cutter and a couple of flat screwdrivers, depending on the first cut. You're gonna need a, either a thin one or a thick one. So I always start off with the thick one and then I'll move on to the thin one if needed. So once again, first cut's gonna be there. So what you do is you line it up as close, close as, uh, uh, as you can to the corner, right? Cover it up. There's the first cut. You can do the same thing on this side. Go to the as close to the corner as possible. There you go. Second cut. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your screwdriver, you're gonna start off with the thick one. And you're, now the label, I always send the labels into PSA, let them know what they do is they adjust the pop report on it. Just as a collector, uh, out of respect, I always do that. So just uh, making sure. I know it doesn't, it doesn't seem like a big deal, but just as a, a collector and, and I love the hobby, I always like to let uh, the grader know that, uh, that I did it so they could adjust the pop report for any reason. Okay, so you put in your, your flat screwdriver and you kind of just wiggle it, wiggle it free till you get a little bit of separation. There, it's coming out nice. So this is gonna pop out right away easily. There it is right there. And the card is perfect. Just the way it was when it got in. There it is right there, there's Nolan Ryan. That's how you uh, break out a PSA safely. Um, I'll be doing, uh, I know PSA is gonna be opening the economy soon. I might crack open a couple cards that I think that are under, uh, undergraded and send it in or just send in cards that are that I to see how PSA I know there's a lot of talk on how PSA is grading cards now they're more strict just to see how they're grading maybe I'll do that too second card is a little personal thing that I like to do this one is um, um, I started to collect this 1959 Fleer Ted Williams set value of this one is not like big time like the other Ted Williams cards of that era uh, little, you know, it's not that expensive, but I just love the set. 
and I don't like the BCCG at all. So what I'm gonna do is uh, when econ economy opens up for PSA, I'm gonna crack this out, get it graded because the set that I'm doing, I'm collecting in the 1959 Fleer Ted Williams is gonna be all PSA. So once again, the same thing, I'm gonna make two inc incisions on each corner and then kind of pry it, uh, separate it and then pry it open. So you kind of go once again, as close as you can. Let's cover this up. There's the first one. Label's gonna go in just so they could adjust the pop report. And we are gonna do another cut on the other side. As close as possible, cover it up. There it is. Once again, flat screwdriver. Let's get some separation. Now, these BCC, BCCG ones are a little more, less quality plastic. So you don't want it to kind of, you gotta take your little time with it because if you pry it open too early, you're gonna get shards everywhere and it's gonna be tougher. So just like, like that one right there, see that? So with this, you might have to take a couple extra cuts, which is no problem. Just take your time. There you go. This one, don't want it to char, so you just kind of cut around it. There you go. Yeah, the PSAs, you can tell it's a better plastic, so it doesn't doesn't cut um it doesn't uh snap like that and leave uh more pieces so let's try it. there it is perfect and there's the card ready to go into psa on economy order and i, I really like this one because it, it's really really good condition so i think this will look amazing in a psa 1959 ted williams fleer Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, uh, I always enjoy your comments and um, always listening to you guys. I love talking hobby. Uh, so let me know uh, what you guys think in the comments. Once again, hit that subscribe button, notification bell. A lot of cool stuff coming up. And for cards, go to my eBay store, calamadegio underscore seven. Link will be in the description. And uh, um, I just recently put up some nice, cool... Uh, a nice uh, Shohei Otani cards. So here's the Bowman, flagship Bowman. Here's the update Otani. And here's a nice Refractor 83. So I uh, just put up more raw cards, obviously with PSA closed. These, were, these would obviously, I would have went to PSA, but obviously PSA still not open fully. So I decided to put these ones up for sale if you're interested. And once again, the link is in the description. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.